Hi, my name's Sean Hogg and I've lived in East Cleveland all my life. As you can see here, we have many small villages in East Cleveland. Each of these has many small voices with many big ideas. If we stand together, these can give us one strong voice, one strong community. East Cleveland, one strong community. The five themes will affect many aspects of young people in East Cleveland and around the country. Our presentation consists of only a few. How do we achieve economic well-being for the young children in East Cleveland? We believe that we have a few rural issues. The main ones are transport, poor job prospects and distance from college. Transport. If you don't have a car, you are very restricted to the resources that are available to us outside East Cleveland which means poor job prospects because you are restricted to where you can travel. Distances from college. Colleges are very restricted to our age group because all of them do not provide buses for us to get there. Ready for employment. Career integrated into school curriculum in Year 7. We want more access to FE colleges and more information and options. How to apply for a job. We want more training in CV writing so that when we leave school we know how to apply and get the right job. Knowledge on local job scene, junior job centre. We believe that we should have a junior job centre in our secondary schools. That way children aged 13 plus will be able to get the right job for them and know more about it. Enterprise training. We think that we need more enterprise training so that when we leave school we will be able to set up our own businesses. More after school options are your study groups. If we had more options for after school we would get a lot more gain a lot more credits. More educational school trips. If we had more school trips to educational places like FE colleges and universities, it would help us make very difficult decisions that without your help would be very difficult decisions to make. Better publicised op opportunities. If opportunities that were open to us were better publicised, young people would show a lot of interest. But since they are not, we do not know about them. All of this costs money, money we don't have. And again, if the opportunities were better publicised, then they could help us with a lot of our problems. Be safe and be healthy. Public recreation areas. Our local council has recently been replacing the old dilapidated recreation areas with the new colourful equipment. However, the new equipment is primarily designed for the younger generation of children, i.e. up to 10 years of age. The young people of East Cleveland would like to see a footpath down the side of the road to improve safety of pedestrians, a safety barrier to guard pedestrians on bends in road, steps down the slope to easily access the footbridge. Leisure facilities. Areas such as Broughton Pit and Leverton Mine Shale Tip are just some of the many areas in East Cleveland that could be developed as an outdoor leisure facility, for example an off-road bike track. There is a need for one of these facilities in our area because of the amount of people who own these bikes and will have to travel as far as Charlton's to legally use them. Enjoy and achieve. How can we achieve success as both individuals and as a community? To enjoy and achieve, we must be free from antisocial behaviour, but full of recreation we enjoy. We must be brought up in a way that we are disciplined into racial equality without discrimination and prejudice. Put this together and we are both mentally and physically motivated to achieve. Achieving is to enjoy. Enjoy something and we will achieve our target. What can we do? We must gather ideas that will turn heads. Ask the people you are building for, for their own thoughts on plans. Don't just give it to them and expect them to like it. Give them questionnaires. How do you get this information? Questionnaires. To see what we want. Public plans. Put plans on the public display. Therefore, we know of new developments in this area. What do we already have and how can we improve this? We have good quality maintenance that young, that young people want to be involved with. We must freshen up old tired buildings, knock them down, build new developments and create recreation facilities for all ages. What do we have in this area? Rolling Hills, Country Lanes, Farmland. This area has some of the highest cliffs in, on the east coast and one of the best preserves of Heather, Heather Moorland. We, all, we also have woodland and settled environment. We have a children's play area, new, de new developments for the young people to keep them off the streets. We also have 
tennis courts. But th these must be invested to create new developments for this area. People that all ages will use. Young adults together are a powerful force. We are the future. Give us a chance. Make a positive contribution. Why not change something negative into something positive? Look at things from a different perspective. Look at things through our eyes. For example, why not change ASBOs from anti-social behaviour orders so it becomes, instead of anti, achieve. We want to achieve economic well-being. We want to achieve the most we can in our time at school so that we can go on to further education which will enable us to become independent and care for ourselves. We want to achieve all of this. But I ask you, how are we, how am I personally supposed to do this without your help? It should, shouldn't be social, it's success. We are expected to make a positive contribution, have a social attitude, be friendly, polite and approachable. Do you think we are all of these things or do you think we all have antisocial behavioural problems? Do you think we're all vandals that go around destroying everything you've created? Well, I can tell you we're not. Just look here at the kids today. We, us, are living proof that there is some good out there. In fact, we're here representing a lot of good that's out there. We want to become successful, and we will become successful if you make East Cleveland successful. It's not behaviour, it's barriers. Everyone is very keen to tell us what not to do, but when it comes to removing those barriers and helping us become better citizens, they're very reluctant to do so. When we're constantly put down, we start to feel put down and start to believe that we, the young people, are not the future of our, future of our society, but part of society that should be forgotten about. It's not orders, it's opportunities. We are adolescents and we have great ideas that will help mould our future and help those around us. Help us show you that we can make a difference. Give us, the give us the responsibility of getting our respect and reputation back. The crucial ingredient for success. You have it. We know where it is needed. Help us help the community of young people. That crucial ingredient is support. Today is the start of making a change. Why not make it a positive start? Remove those barriers and give us your support. We are here, ready and waiting to accept your help, but are you ready to deliver it? Hello, we've been asked to investigate the key points of the Children's Act. Here are our findings. Stay safe! To stay safe. On my own I feel alone, but then I find... Stay in numbers! I would like my hometown to be a safe place for my child to grow up in. I'm more community walking, walking around to like, look out on, on people so they can be safe and you know you can be safe. I think motorists should drive safer in residential areas. There'd be drug users all over and there'd be like kitty catchers and pedophiles all over and things like that. Well, it's been a lot safer because there's more council people and bobbies around to keep like burglaries and drink drivers off the road. Be, be healthy. healthy! To be healthy. I would like my hometown to be cleaner because it affects our health. Our level of health affects what we can achieve in life. Enjoy and achieve! Enjoy and achieve! There's not much apart from like for little kids there's parks up the road and that's it for us. And then, like, say, there's no for us to do, so we go drinking around the streets and that. And there's no else for us to do. I would like the council to make more leisure facilities in our hometown, like cross the tracks and swimming baths and stuff like that. Like a leisure centre open or something that we can play football, have a young, for young people, a gym or something, something different. Make a positive contribution. I go down to the disabled youth we make and do volunteer work for disabled people in junior night and it's quite interesting for, for, yourself. for yourself and you get an experience of what it's like to for your 
Employment when you're older. From one fine night on the downstairs of I'll set out drums and play drums with all other people and that. So how did you find the evening? It was quite funny, really. Yeah. Enjoyable. Yeah. 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 You know, on a Sunday when I'm doing repair for hours, there's no woman that's got arthritis in her hand that uh, opens tins in the pot for her. Achieve economic well-being. Achieve economic well-being. Well. I'd travel for jobs and like go uh, from Broughton to say like Middlesbrough but there's a place down the road well I don't know if I'd be able to get in there. Well if you go to the library you can get like all sorts of information off the computers to help you with what, what you want to be or what, what you want to do. Buying a car, making your own taxi firm or something. Like send us on like training courses and like stuff like that for like different jobs what we can do. A good job with a good pay okay. and a good car and a good house and a good husband as well if you like. <laughs> <laughs>